there's a bright object currently approaching slowly towards the mesosphere. Seems to be no bigger than a small person. I don't know what it is, but there's something out there. I think I probably put about 20 quid into this machine by now. Anyways, my name is... Riley! I've told you once to stop kicking the machines. Look, I've got money in there, I swear. Can't you give me like a couple of free dollars? I'll give you my sister's number. You said that last time, and did it happen? Come back when you don't want to try and calm me out of free shit. The guy there is a massive dick anyways. Not only because my older sister rejected him, like, twice, but because he's just not a nice person. What I'm about to tell you is between me and you. Okay, this is how I met Luna. I understand that going to investigate the glowing pink rock that fell from the sky probably wasn't my brightest idea. Okay, Riley, keep it together. Stop thinking of horror movies, for God's sake. But then again, it wasn't my worst either. I come in peace! Okay, now this, this was my worst idea. After that happened, I knock out pretty good. I also got this sick scar that looks like a lightning bolt. <laughs> this was strange, right? I, I had to check if I was dreaming. Okay, I wasn't. So as any rational human being would do in this situation, I asked... What do you want? Please don't kill me. D do you have a name? <gasps> right, I'm hallucinating. I haven't eaten all day, that's the only logical explanation for this. So, you're an alien, and you're able to show me things. You know those moments when you think you've gone, like, super mad? You start forgetting things? I had no idea what shit I was chatting, but all I can remember asking was... What's your name? It wasn't a clean indication, as there was a slight language barrier. I knew what I was going to call her from now on, though. Mooney. 
I knew she had to come home with me. I mean, I couldn't just leave her here. Right. Here. My mom didn't even let me have a cat. So, what's Wait. she gonna say to me having an alien? My friends gave me these before they went to uni, you know, kind of as a gag present. I don't even know why I'm saying this to you, you can't understand. No, no, no. You don't eat it. Like this. No, why do you keep eating everything? Here, like this. Here's actual food. Now for the worst bit. Sneaking past my parents. Hey mom, hey dad, don't mind me, just going upstairs upstairs real quickly, bye! What cat? Riley's got a girl with her. So? Our daughter's brought a girl home. She could be, you know. You know what? Well, coming out. A lot of girls at her age do it. Find themselves experiment. Right. Okay. I'm going down to see the boys. Richard, you can't leave. You're well qualified for this, so I'll be back for tea. Shit, 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 shit! At this point, I realised I was holding on to an actual alien. Something from outer space. I've seen enough movies to know full well that some agent is going to bust through that door right now and arrest me. Shit, it's the aliens, they've come for me! Riley, are you okay up there? Uh, yeah, I'm fine, Mum. Thanks. Why? Uh, any little friends? Uh, yeah, she's just a friend from the arcade. Well, if you want any food or anything, just let me know. Yeah, will do. Thanks, Mum. And I mean, if you want anything, like if you want me to leave the house while you chill, I'll totally understand. I don't. Listen, I'm not like your father. I am totally down with the newer, cooler generation like you lot. I know what your your kids are like. Okay, cool. Thanks, ma'am. Bye. Oh, these are drawings. I had no idea what the words meant, but I can make out the pictures. That's you with my vinyls. I realized I can't keep calling her Moon Kid if I was going to keep her. So instead, I was going to call her a uh, vinyl. Or Luna? I realised Luna wasn't just drawing random pictures, but she was drawing a map. A map home. It's hard for me not to think that it's me. All my friends have left me. My sister's gone, and now my new friend. My new pet alien. She can't even be with me for more than a day before wanting to go home. I knew this was much bigger than me. I knew that I now had to protect Luna at all costs because she's an alien. So Luna and I did what any two young adults with little money, no sense of direction would do with only like two days to hang out. We went to the arcade. And then those few days came and went so quickly. Luna was like a little sister to me at this point. It was also great because she couldn't talk. So that was a plus. Many suits started appearing and asking for sightings of a little girl. I explained it to my parents. They were shocked at first, but they understood. I think my dad thought I was coming out to him. I explained that Luna was the girl that they were looking for. But she had to go home soon, so we couldn't hand her over. My parents understood that I was lonely, that it was better for Luna to go home. I guess this is it. I know you probably don't understand what I'm saying or understand what's happened these past few days, but I've had a blast. It was a weird moment, but it was like saying goodbye to a family member or a close friend. It was just a really 
really hard goodbye. In this moment of me being really sad, I realised that I'd been staring at Luna for way too long. Luna, I... I really need to... And then she left, and now I'm all alone. Again. That's everything that happened. Can I go now? Please? You can come out now. They bought it all. Let's go to this place you like, down by the arcade. Well, ain't got no worries now, come. It's like the universe.